Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to turn a Raspberry Pi into a media player. Specifically, I'm going to install XBMC, which is a free open source entertainment hub that can play all kinds of online and offline media. So, if like me you have a fairly old TV, you can take a Raspberry Pi, install XBMC, and gain access to the kind of functionality now available on the latest smart TVs. For this project, you'll need a Raspberry Pi, preferably in some kind of case, together with a USB power supply and an SD card with at least a 4GB capacity. You'll also need to download the new out-of-box or noob software from raspberrypi.org and to copy it to the SD card. I covered all of this stuff in my setting up a Raspberry Pi video, so for once I'm going to go straight to the installation. Right, I've now connected the Raspberry Pi to my television via HDMI, and I've also plugged in an Ethernet lead for internet connectivity, as well as a USB keyboard and of course the power supply. With a newly set up Noobs SD card inserted, I therefore just need to turn on the power to get things started. And here we go, uh, there we are, the Raspberry Pi is booting up, going through its normal noobs boot up process, sorting out the SD card and making sure it's got everything in its proper places for Raspberry Pi goodness. Um, and then we arrive at the screen which allows us to choose what we want to install. Last time I selected Raspbian, but this time I'm installing XBMC, so I go to RaspBMC, press enter on that, and then press little i for installing. This will delete all the data on the SD card. Um, do I want to do that? The answer is yes. And this will start off a quite a long process. And because it's going to be a long process, I will skip through an awful lot of it because I'm sure you don't want to watch lots of screens going through. So we'll rejoin this process in a second when we're getting a lot closer to things being completed. Okay, it's uh, still continuing. I just paused briefly to show you this lovely message. It says, patching root file system, be very patient. Or in other words, this is going to take a very, very, very long time. Oh, we're back to the uh, good old R for the um, Raspberry Pi. Oh, and here we are, look. Finally, we seem to have arrived in the Raspberry Pi version of a XBMC. So here we are. This is uh, the Raspberry Pi. Still just sorting things out. You can see the bottom corner, checking on networks and that type of thing. Um, but this is XBMC for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it asked me to choose my language. I think I'll select English because oh, I've just gone straight past it. You'd think I could use a keyboard, wouldn't you? But obviously not. I'll have English there. Um, and that, I think, pretty much has me set up. It's picked up the time. Um, so basically, this, what you've got here is an interface to look at things like um, music, or you can run programs, you can look in the system, see the various um, options available. It's still, I think, sorting things out in the background, so I changed my settings if I wanted to, the appearance, video settings, what are they, video settings in there, for example, all these things set to, uh, to set but I'll just escape out of that. And again, um, music I could, for example, set up. Uh, yes, okay, it's given me some help, don't need some help. Music I could uh, set up to, for example, add a source. I could add, for example, an external hard drive uh, to play music from that, but I'm not gonna bother with music right now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do though is to go into video uh, we can see um, we've got files, playlist, video, add-ons. I'm going to do an add-on. Um, I think I'll get another one because obviously I've got none at all at the moment. Oh, it's just updated the weather. Anyway, it's now got to a list of all the video things we could add. So, for example, I could add in um, iTunes trailers, for example, Apple iTunes trailers. And I could install that. I'll also add in another um, thing. It's all sorts of different 
CBS News, Air Classic Cinema, all sorts of things, Danish TV Live, lots and lots of sources of information out there on the internet, Engadget there, um, Food Network, Funny or Die. But where I'm going, all the way down the bottom of the list, you can probably guess where I'm going, given that you're probably watching this video on YouTube, I'm going to go all the way down to find YouTube. There we are, we've passed Vimeo, we've got to YouTube, I'm going to install um, the main YouTube um, add-on. And I'm going to install the YouTube channels add-on. Right, that's finished I think, I'm going to escape out of that. And we can now see if we went to our video options, we've now got Apple iTunes trailers. If I selected that. And here we are, um, all sorts of different films, um, which we could have a little look at what's going on. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 um, is one of them. I'm not actually going to play you one of these trailers because I will be in breach of copyright to actually do that. So there it is. As a trailer, it would run if you wanted to run it. Oh, that's a picture look. Um, what I am going to do, though, is to go back into videos. And I should have got upwards, out, obviously, out that way last time. And back again, almost figuring out how to work with the interface. It's very, very simple, this interface. So simple that I can't use it, it seems. Uh, but I'm going to go into, for example, YouTube channels. There we are. We'll um, select YouTube channels. And of course, there's a channel search option. You're probably way ahead of me now. I'll select that. And I'll type in, for example, X explaining the future, take my other channel, search for that, there it is, look, and this is, oh dear, a picture of me, that's frightening, um, and we can now see um, my channel, or of course anybody else's channel you, you search for, I'm just proving the principle of this media player, and there we are, look, it's actually come and showed us a load of um, YouTube videos. So I could, for example, now select, I don't know, that over there, and press um, enter. And we're now going to see, presumably, an HD video showing on the Raspberry Pi media player, which really um, is what a media player thing does, isn't it? it um, oh, it's asked me to confirm some settings, which I'm sure are absolutely lovely, all this first run stuff again. I might even go to the right place. There we are. Um, and hopefully it will soon play. And there we are. We've proved you can play uh, YouTube videos in HD here on your Raspberry Pi. And of course we're now in this rather strange position of me watching me, which is uh, incredibly strange indeed. Welcome to another video. Deary me. From uh, you can of course um, stop it like that. Look, I'll go back and forth uh, on, on the cursor keys. Uh, but we've really here um, proved the principle. So there you are, this is how to um, set up a Raspberry Pi so you can play video content from all over the internet um, and spend lots and lots of time watching it. Over two million Raspberry Pis have now been sold and with the addition of a wireless keyboard or remote they can make a very effective media player. Alternatively, as I'll show you in a future video, a Raspberry Pi can also be used as a robotics controller. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.